me. It's probably going to overheat again at some point, so... Uh, yeah. We'll just take a break then, or something. Yeah, you're up. Okay! Now we're live? Yeah, we're live, dude. <laughs> well, let's start. Uh, sorry, Dan, you can keep that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, guys, it's time to du 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 duel. Um, see, you are first in the initiative. From the green emerald screen, uh, a bit of music starts to emit, and you, you kind of see the ledge turn around and kind of like switch it, push the buttons. Okay, so where is the sign I look like? Uh, Hang on, it was here somewhere. Ah, there it is. All right. Oh. Go ahead. We're going to die to this, aren't we? Sounds like it keeps on breaking up and starting. Oh no, you, it's... It's like every modern rock and roll song I've ever heard. We're gonna die to this, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. All right. At least it's not Ozzy Osbourne's uh, crazy train. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, can C speak? Uh... Aaron, can you speak? Because I'm not hearing you. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Can you? Little. Okay, hold on. For one second. <laughs> he's he's engrossed by the music. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, so that was interesting. I guess I got get in character now. Well, that was interesting. Uh, I have a question, Mr. Lynch. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say what we're skipping C's round because I haven't heard anything. Uh, hey, he... I've been talking. Can you not hear me? <laughs> we can hear you now. You're good. You're right. still very quiet. Yeah. Okay. Um, my computer's having issues. I can you just move my character right in front of the uh, our buddy? Oh, you mean Derek? Who should be Derek? Are you at the side of a highway? My <laughs> uh, feet. Technically, yes. Uh, I'm moved you right next to him, so you're uh, across from him right now. Diagonal. Diagonal. And I suppose uh, where you're you riding to... your horse up to him? Of course. There's no penalty for fighting on the horse. No, there's not. So the horse is there. So you you kick Mirabel in the st in um, in the start of its ribs that are you know, just there, and it launches into a full out and sprint towards C uh, towards Derek, and unleashes two rapier attacks. <laughs> the first one, unfortunately, misses. Uh, it's a natural one, so that's what's going to happen. But the second one, you manage to strike Derek in this ghostly ch ethereal chest. And you do damage. Seven piercing damage. Do you want to add smite to that? Yes. Okay, so that's... You want smite added to this? <laughs> Would you like a smite with that? Uh, yeah, I want a large fry so and that's... smite. <laughs> can I get a large <laughs> Minus smite? 26 damage. <laughs> Sorry, that's gonna be cents extra, but it's it, it's te it's a dollar any size drinks. Yeah, but Smite is is fifty cents extra. Damn, fifty cents. All right. And <laughs> as you stab him in the chest, the kind of greenish darky, uh, dark purple energy expands from your rapier, and it kind of like gorges out the side from it. And it says, "Ugh, that's cool, man, dude." I still have a question. <laughs> Right. So, um, do you do anything else in your turn? Yeah, pretty sure you have a bonus action still. Yeah, but nothing to do with a bonus action, so, yeah, nothing. All right. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to. Uh, what, 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 what did I say about Mirabel's use as. Um, uh, for. Uh, uh, Mirabel's action like, economy? Because, you know, it could attack. Yeah, they uh, can attack, I believe. I, I think there's stuff specifically what the actions mounts can take. So let me look real fast. Mm -hmm. Let me just go go his turn. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and do, do that next turn then. Should, should we? Yeah, no problem. Preston, you're up. It's been a moment since you've landed here and come to Crips and with the amount of zombies standing. You see the person you chained to the front of the ship, the bow, and which is later remarked so cleverly left a mess as the uh, same way he lived in the world. What do you do? Wait, what happened? Is Derek, he's a mess. We need to kill him now. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I found the stuff for the mount real fast. It can only take three actions, either dash, disengage, or dodge. Um, yeah, I think I can't be on it. Oh. Uh, no, uh, when you're mounted, that's the three actions it can take. Oh, so just give it the dodge action so they'll have disadvantage on it. Yeah, that sounds right. All right. Let's see. Uh... uh... Was that Press's Valio or something? No. Okay. That was just me. Uh, where is. No, he's oh, really good with that guitar. I <laughs> almost clicked the wrong thing. I think uh, a 21 hits him, right? Yeah. For 11, 11 slash. points of slashing damage. That's nice. You dash forward, unsheathing your greatsword, and you plunge it into another side of Derek, and he's like, Oh, dude, it's so not cool. Uh, do you want to do anything else in your turn? No, that's my turn. I'm pretty sure you have those abilities you, you have. I do. I only have three per day, though. Uh, I don't think this right. is it again. So, uh, initiative turn three 20. Per rest of or... Our Lich is going to uh, look at the situation and kind of say, Well, I think it's time you all took a lesson from me and you learned how to dance. And he's going to cast... Or, Wait, or... does he literally have dance magic? Oh. <laughs> uh, and he's going to Der cast... Derek isn't lesson. surprised, is he? No. Onto an irresistible dance. And this needs to place. Oh god. <laughs> I, Mr. Lynch, I'm more of a spoken word person! <laughs> but even though you, you feel your body just respond to the music and you can't use your movement for anything else but to dance for the next round. <laughs> we don't get a save? It's our auto resistible dance. It doesn't have a save, but I'm uh, on uh, it, I'm, I'm changing up so it doesn't last as long, and it's just the one round. I thought it was a bit unfair. So who does he cast it on? And it does have a wisdom save. Well, it's got a wisdom save. Uh, well, as on an your action, turn. a dancing creature makes a wisdom save to regain control of itself. Yeah. And he casts it on Preston. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a two-step. That's literally all he knows to do. Is it two step? Wow. Yeah. Such old fashioned. That, 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 Wait, that, is that, it? Is that? Is that what I'm thinking of? Uh, well, the oldest is, song, the only thing I can think of is the Charleston. So. Nah. Well, it's kind of like that without the hand movement. <laughs> so you're just like wiggling your knees. <laughs> no. My son's initiative order. <sighs> Um, so... Probably to, uh, probably... Oh, no, I, I replaced them, that's why. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's... okay. Uh, is it, well, is it the, they roll is it the square? The... I don't know. I don't know. It's literally like you step off to the left, and then you move your right foot to your left foot. Then you move your right foot back over to the right, 
and then move your left foot over to your right foot. And you just keep on doing that. It's literally um, like three so steps, and any white guy can do it, and that's what he's doing. It's, it's just a step to the left and then a jump to the right? No jump. Just a step to the left, then a step to the right, then a step to the left, and a step to the right. Oh, but your feet, no. always, your feet always meet. There is there is a little bit of execution. There's like there's sloppy execution where you just kind of like wiggle your the foot that's <laughs> that you meet your other foot. But no, no okay. I don't want that well, you have invented a new dance in this in this world. So congratulations, you can name it whatever you want. <laughs> uh, that was sixteen. That was sixteen. That was three. Now one was with eleven. That's I don't like how he just said level sixteen, level sixteen, level three. <laughs> No, I, I wrote them earlier. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> you said level there. I was like, oh. Okay. I can't stick to that, please. So this, so press is dancing right now. Um, this is new. Yeah. Um. And it to that one the initial of zero. Oh, just one. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a lot of them. descending. Now we're going to go oh. one, two. You know that? Uh, I had a feeling, like, yeah, I get to go. And now I was seeing this, it's like, oh, I don't get to go. <laughs> nope. Um, the first group of nine zombies are going to move. Uh, let's see, it's five. 20 feet. 30 feet over here. Oh, God! <laughs> and they're going to just stand there for, for, for now. They don't really have any other orders. Uh. <laughs> Next group zombies, they're going to move here, here, and there. Uh. <laughs> and that's their turn for now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Um. Well, there goes Fireball. Uh, he's I mean, you can still wipe out half. Yeah. Um still could have cast fireball. If I was a if I was a you know, a person who cared about my party members, I would help the wizard. Um Yeah. yeah. I'm, add spr I'm, add <laughs> I'm gonna add sprinkles. He's going to go on the initiative of let's say I'm gonna Five. I'm gonna go invisible and then um Is that the I would like to cry action to um token? No, that's supposed to be the thing. That's supposed to be the uh It's a little ninja mask. So it's a ninja mask. Technically it's it move out of its range, so if one of the zombies gets an attack of a I am invisible. invisible, they can't see me. Right, but they is it they have disadvantage on the attack? Sure, but they can't. You can only make attack opportunities if you can see the uh, the creature. Um. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. They automatically fail visual perception checks. Yep. Uh, the thing with the the thing with disadvantage is you're attacking a square, basically. It attacks sprinkles then, and I forgot to add. I mean, that's my turn, so it's it's our wizard friend's turn. Yeah, that circle looks good. It's <laughs> a bunch of zombies and the Lich and uh, Derek. And the circle gets the square. Yeah. And... Fireball. <coughs> Nice. A, that's bad damage for you, isn't it? Uh, oh, there's two ones. No. There's two ones and two twos in it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, two six is six. a five and a four. Yeah. Average damage. Um, okay. Uh, let's just make dexterity saves for zombies. And technically the lich. It's technically only one below the average damage. And so. Derek. Oh, wait. I thought I made the wrong button. Oh, well. Uh, Dex save, where is it? Three. And Derek goes. Um, 
Uh, no, everybody else fails. Uh, Derek and the Lich also have to make uh, rolls. I think uh, Derek did. That's uh, yeah. the Lich needs to go. Oh yeah, right, sorry, so I just saw it. So with twenty-seven, all you see that your fireball hits the one zombie. Yeah, it's a small beat, and then <laughs> explodes out in a cavalcade of fire and destructive force that actually rips some of the floorboards off and disperses them around the room, and all of the zombies fall down, uh, there are bits and pieces everywhere of them. All these zombies are technically dead. Well, until I roll for the saves, of course. Yeah, the constitution saves. Well, I uh, believe you do now. Yeah. So, it's... Base is oh, five. Oh, next is Derek. Uh, it's five plus whatever the damage was, so yeah. The 32. Yeah. Total damage or what they were damage over uh, oh, hit points? I was total damage. I'm not sure. Is that is ever how you want to do it? I believe it's total damage though. Alright, so um, uh, the first one succeeded. Second one failed. And um, third one succeeded. Fourth, the fourth one failed. Uh, failed. Failed. That's good enough, so I'm going to say that two of them survive. <laughs> uh, so let's ungroup these, Google, and say boom. Well done. Crap, two are still alive. <laughs> That's it. That one over here. And then Derek takes 27. But there, I guess, like his inferior form is still there, but you can see it's hurting as much as a ghost can. Uh, hurt. Did you roll the save for the lich? I did. It also failed, but it doesn't seem to face it that much at all. Well, it's a lich, so. Yeah. <laughs> I know in 3.5, they're like immune to fireball. Yeah, there's there's a lot of dishes here just to be the fireball. <laughs> well, it's it's they have like immunity to all spells below level four. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not in. Pretty, yeah, in that I, I I don't know how it works in fifth. Uh, okay, but you now it's Derek's turn, and he is like gets red flared eyes, and it's like. So not cool, dudes. Derek, you've been smoking. <laughs> yeah. Alright, go, Derek. Come on. Can we hit him? Oh, uh, that's barely. Hey, do you know what the ghost ability is, Pierre? What? I would ask you to make a 16, uh, DC 13 charisma saving throw. Is he attack? Uh, what is he attacking me with? Possession. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Or... Uh, yeah, you do actually. Then you and uh... uh, me too, right? Yeah. Well, do you if you're dancing? Oh yeah, you're still dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Oh, uh, that fails. You miss. Fail. <laughs> yes. uh... I mean, you can dance if you want to. You can leave, you your, can leave your friends behind. You can let them Okay, we can't start. We can't do it. Let's sing off the air. Of just my mind. Oh, God. Um, we can only reference it. Yep. Um, I guess I'll get... Well, if I attack my... Well, can my, my, you my, my, my make laser. me that carry supposed to have me throw here? Sure. Actually, no, I'm not going to attack. There he goes through. I want to see what happens. You feel Derek enter your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gonna like, be terrible. And like many other, it's like you—you you probably haven't thought of it before, but now that you think about it, it's probably what's going what it would have felt like anyway. Gross. And you can kind of like hear him rummaging around inside of you, and like, oh, okay. But then you hear another voice, a very familiar voice. Who says, Hey, what you doing inside my lobby? <laughs> <laughs> this is my room now. 
in Raiden's face. <laughs> and Derek is shot outside of your body. Did it pay rent? <laughs> no. <laughs> and you hear your father's voice speak to you. I, I didn't want to mix up with you know, mostly, but I've been dead for like two months now. Um, kind of just like staying here for now until I get find a place. <laughs> and also that you solve my murder. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm not gonna you know, do much. You're you owe me rent. <laughs> Did you what just yell out, you owe me rent? You to charge rent from your own father? I feel like you're just yelling, you owe you me You charged rent. me! Aye, you were old enough for it. You had worked in Northern. Oh. What didn't you pay? I was three! <laughs> three is when I started working. When your father's father started working, and when my father's father's father started working. Three is practically driving age. My accent is going all around the place right now, so I'm just gonna stop talking. <laughs> oh god. And Derek is like really surprised about all that in the What the... I think we're all surprised at this point. <laughs> Dude The fuck? And it's there's over. So now it's <laughs> some piece of tell here. Um <laughs> Just gonna look around at all the carnage. Uh, and I'm gonna move up towards next to the Preston. Uh, or let us do it next time. And Preston, you're gonna get a attack against you. Oof. He kind of looks at your dancing and says, <coughs> doesn't say anything, but it, you, you get the essence that it's kind of like. It just made a sick burn towards you, but you don't understand it. Um, I think it just called you stupid. <laughs> no, he, he oh, yeah. called your dancing stupid, let's be honest. Yeah, Actually, yeah. you notice now that all these zombies in here had like this kind of stylized outfits on? Do they look like the people from the thriller is it video? I can't say it's the fear of copyright infringement, but... <laughs> Do we need uh, this purple any longer? No, I don't think so. Unless I'm you thinking want about gossip. moving it downwards. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Keep going. Yep, there. Uh. Oh, Wait, what's going on? Uh, He's about to so fall about the next zombie. <laughs> that would include you. Do you want me to not include you? Yeah, care. moving it up a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's going to go over here. And it's going to attack C. Actually, oh, I, I think a 21 hits your armor counts. Yep, 21 hits. Actually, you can get rid of it. I can't really cast any more fireballs tonight. <laughs> oh, you take eight so damage. good. So lucky for you guys. Yeah. All right. And then it's Z's turn again. So Z will look at his buddy next to him that's doing the two-step and kind of look over at whatever that was with the ghosts and sigh and uh, cast a spell on himself. <laughs> of course. Um, this, uh, yeah. You kind of see C take out. Uh, which one do you want to protect yourself from? Uh, well, undead, but it should. Doesn't it protect against all of them, or do I have to choose one? It's protecting it's against just... certain types of creatures. Protection grants several benefits to creatures of those types. Those types. So, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think you need to specify. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just because it's protected from evil and good. Kind of makes you out of your business. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of weird. It's a weird spot. Well, all of all of it worked that way. Yeah. Like uh, hallowed ground is the same as unhallowed ground. Yeah, it's fine. Detect evil and good. Okay, so that was your action. What do you want to do with the bonus action? I have nothing I can do with bonus action. Okay. 
Trust them. You're still using movements and. <coughs> well, luckily, I I don't need to move to hit things since these targets so willingly approached me. Hang on, I just want to check that spell. The uh. Where the frick does the spell go? Oh, there it is. The dance spell. As an action. Ugh. Oh, and also disadvantage on dexterity saving throws and attack rolls. Oh, is wow. that dexterity attack rolls or dex or just attack rolls in general? T attack rolls in general. Well, I, I already ruled that it's just going to last a round uh, until it's just turned again. So don't worry about wording wisdom saving throw for it. So yeah, you just have a disadvantage on your attack roll. I'm going to hit it. You gonna hit? You gonna I'm gonna hit it hard. You gonna quit it as well? I think technically that should still hit, right? Eleven. Uh, eleven still hits, yeah. It takes fifteen why points did, of slash. Why did damage. you click my damage? Sorry. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to do anything for your opponent's action? Yeah. No. Well then. Uh, it's time for the next player <sighs> action. I like to think that the, the zombie just joined in the dance mm -hmm. and just moved right into the great sword. <laughs> they were supposed to go. They were supposed to go That's right to the left. It, 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 it attempted to put a hand on my shoulder and my hip, and <laughs> I just like decided, you know what? I'm going to like do that. Really weird. Throw my hands at the air and stare at someone whilst my hands are just up, up in the air. <laughs> um, and whilst doing that, my great sword still in my hands just went. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so what happened. <laughs> okay, um, they're just going to look at the charred corpses of the back of this and say, "Well." Oh, so some, you know how long it takes to teach a zombie how to dance? No. Not very long, they're pretty obedient. And also terrible. <laughs> and he's going to do what I only can describe as cheating. Wow. <laughs> we're, already at the che we're already at the cheating phase. Okay, let's go. <laughs> his hands start to make these intricate signs and gestures. And from his chest, these... Sort of whitish, the, the, the a grayish greenish light emits, and you, you can sense there's like a powerful feel of like magic or a force you can't really describe and, and understand. And a spell that probably would take hours, or maybe days, or weeks to complete, he unleashes, and the, you see all the body parts of the zombie start to jitter, the blood seems to contract and meet in the middle, and from a mountain of flesh, <coughs> a flesh golem, the size of this, oh god, <laughs> gathers together and lets out an unearthly, unsightly scream. <laughs> Uh, I put my hand on Preston's shoulder, still invisible. I says, I think we need to take care of that. My knee jerk reaction is to elbow you in the gut. Oh! <laughs> it's just like, ah! what's behind me? Add the initiative of two. That seems fair. Well, I guess I know what I'm going to take care of next. There's some piece down here on uh, like... <laughs> Me or it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did just fucking. You, I mean, you're invisible and you approached me from behind. You should know my voice. So, but you put okay. your hand on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm just gonna ungroup these because they're going to move. One's going to move up here. One's going to move up here. One's going to move up here. Okay, so he bumps into me. And that, one, here. that one bumps into me as well. Off here. I'm surrounded. Off here. <laughs> One's going to go off the sprinkles because it's a bastard like that. Man, I wish I was level 8. 
I wish at this point I wish I could fly. Do you guys want the fireball circle back? No. <laughs> Do you have any fireballs left? No. I'm going to move up here. I don't. I'm going to move here and harass the horse. It's going to harass Springles again. It's going to go outside. Oops, sorry. Wrong thing. There. Hey, Pierre, uh, I hope you like company. <laughs> uh, you put one underneath the horse. There one underneath. Oh. Well, look, he's he's got a tactical position. He's about to punch <coughs> up. In the horse's uh, that looks bad, though. Yeah, it's all right. Just, we'll we'll know once under the horse. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just wondering I'm if just it gonna could put be it here. Yeah, that's fine. And... Right. So, all these zombies are going to, you know, take some attacks upon you. Well, uh, two you bump into one. me, so they know I'm there. So they get, but they get disadvantage. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you missed this one. Uh, that one is just kind of still shuffling its feet a bit, trying to do the move. <laughs> and and kind of like the glitch looks at him and says, Carol, you know, Carol, please. Carol? The dance is over. <laughs> and Carol, Carol kind of like, like looks down. And then begrudgingly moves over here <laughs> towards Rickles. Um, let's just get the ones against Pringles out of the way first. So there's four, rather? Yeah. Are you really yeah. gonna kill Sprinkles? Don't kill Sprinkles! Oh, Sprinkles <laughs> is a beast. Like, one of them actually, uh, actually all of all, uh, one of them actually misses with 14. Uh, 14 misses, yeah. Uh, and then done. That's only nice. 14 damage, sprinkles. Who yeah. that 144? Oh, 140, so. Oh, and my horse would have also had protection from evil. <clears throat> oh, yeah, because whatever you get, it gets as well, right? Any buff that only targets me, yeah. I can get to him as well. Cool. Kind of, uh, sprinkles is still is like his little, his little water dog form. Kind of like. <laughs> doesn't like being hit. Uh, why. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna this s one is for uh, Preston. The 22 hit you. 22 hits me. That's the 13 hit you. I don't think 13 so. 13 does not hit me. Uh, 10 doesn't. And 21 doesn't hit that. Oh, it's the wrong hits. Sorry. Yeah. So you say. saying. Two of those hit. 13 damage. I mean, technically... Uh, well, that's not what I meant to do. See, these first two attacks against you have advantage. No, they don't have advantage. Because I'm done like that. Wait, wait, wait. I'm kind of against C. Oh, Z, okay. Uh, <laughs> one crit. And there's a crit. One, two, three... Four, five, and then okay. one for Mirable. So all of those are against Z? Uh, the first five are. The first five are. Great. They all miss. Oh, yeah, because yeah. he has disadvantage because of protection from evil. Yeah. Right. It's good. Uh, and, and the also... second one hits Mirable. Yeah. Uh, Mirable takes six damage. It's kind of like, they're, they're all like, and also you're up high on the horse, they're kind of like, they're scampering up towards you, and you kind of feel your shield move in the way of most of the attacks on its own, and plucking the, the strikes from hitting you, and there's this little small spark of divine energy. Cool. Um, technically, they're it's too bumped into me, so they know. They just have disadvantage. So if you want to get the attacks, there are two on me. Mm, fine. If you want, you can hit that badly. No, I'm just saying, the two bumped into me when they moved. And they both missed. Okay. And I'm pretty sure eight misses you. Yep, eight misses. Oh, Rokas, you are suddenly very surrounded. And invisible. <laughs> are the uh, ones... Are none of the ones surrounding me going to attack? 
Oh, right. Yeah, there's two on him as well, yeah. Oh, and, well, Derek's turn is after Preston. Or Pierre, okay, I mean. So misses, and 22. Actually, they have advantage, so does the 14 hit you? They have advantage? Yeah, they're flanking, flanking, flanking here. Yeah. Uh, it's 14 misses, the 22 hits. Okay, you take 4 damage. Alright, so... Oh, fuck. <laughs> See, now would be a good place to set up Fireball. I need to check out how this spell works again. I might have to do it. Man, it's too bad there's no cleave. Yeah, oh well. Yes, no what? Cleave? Fifteen foot cone. Do Arab effect attacks. Alright. So, fifteen foot cone. Okay, I'm gonna get these here. These four in front of me here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cast um, Thunder Wave. And I'm gonna cast this at. Thunder. I'm gonna cast it at third up. level. I'm kinda of disappointed that I don't have a Thunder Wave a clap uh, sound file I made. Oh, second blade is not on, sorry. Uh, so that's only for nine damage. They need to take a DC fifteen Constitution save, and if they fail, they'll push back ten feet. Okay, two of them success. <coughs> and how much damage does it take? It takes nine. That was a bad nine. One. Yeah, bad oh. damage roll on me. Oh, uh, the first one falls down and has to make a Constitution saving throw. It's fallen and it can't get up. Yeah. It succeeds though, so it's back up to one hit point. Great. Uh, they do fail. They have to be. They are pushed back ten feet though. Uh, yeah. So it was a boom, boom. He's there, and no, it wouldn't really make sense. It's it's whatever you want to do. Uh, I was gonna, I'm gonna play this for the those two right in front of you that have not launched. You clap your hands together and, and as you are invisible, the fades, the first two are just kind of like lifted off of the crown and launched over the other two zombies. Yeah. Uh, and then um, I and then I look at uh, Press is like, why did you Elbil do you in the stomach? <laughs> you surprised me. That's funny. I don't know where, where my accent is right now. I can't do I'm accent right now. Somewhere. <laughs> That's funny. I'll succeed for half damage. So so. It's Someone yeah. up. <laughs> awesome. uh, okay. That was a well spent turn. Do you have anything to do with the bonus action? Um how's Preston looking? Like oh. I just got hit by two zombies and that was about it. That's uh, terrible. Okay. Uh, so I can't because healing word, even though healing word is a bonus action, I have to use it. Uh, I've already used a. Uh, a no, I'm yeah. 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 So I can't use it. So I'm gonna have no, to use it next I'm turn. Saying, go ahead, you said healing word in the first level. It's minor. Uh, no, I use my third level. That's why I can't do it. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna. I thought I could do bigger damage than I did, and I did. So yeah, that's all I can really do. Okay, well let me see the camera pan over towards here, who is flanked by zombies and a very confused and angry looking Derek goes. Hmm. Oh. You, you oh. hear the voice of your father speak to you. Sonny, you should really use the blood axe more. Like you have one right next to you. Just use the axe and jump into him. Oh, well, that reminds me actually. Um, how much weapon damage did Z's attack do? Uh, Z's attack? It did. Seven piercing, that's yeah. half. Almost half, so. Um, well, yeah, then, I am going to. You got a fireball, I guess you can do it. <laughs> Step to here. You moved out of the attack range of the one zombie. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but since it's an opportunity attack, and I don't think flanking holds, but I'm just going to say it's not advantage. 
<coughs> 23 on British Girl still hits you, so you take another 6 points of damage. Okay. I am going to cast Burning Hands on uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zombies. D6. Okay, that's a dexterity saving throw, I'm pretty sure. Yes, uh, the dexterity save. And six of them. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, um, this is 15, so two of them succeed. They take half damage with six. The rest to take 12 damage, which is the maximum hit points of two uh, by. So they all survive. At three. Okay, that's what I do. And one of them has nine. Or two of them have nine. Okay, that's a very productive and good turn. Yay. But your father still says, like, he urges you to use the, the, burnt, the blood axe. I think fire's working quite well. Aye, for now. Uh, the ghost tag is kind of like, look at you and say, Whatever, man. I never had a good relationship with my father. <laughs> and he... <laughs> <laughs> moves Are you away. bonding with the ghost of Derek right now? I got... Uh, I'm gonna um, take my attack opportunity. Do you have Warcaster? I have an axe. Yes, an axe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes <it's an> axe. <laughs> oh, who charges his ability? Nice. Uh, seven uh, damage, yeah. For seven damage. Nice. Uh, it's not magical, magical, so it's only like four damage. And there, I hit him with the axe. Doesn't do much. <laughs> I. Finally! So, yeah, bloody. so Derek runs towards me and I go, Oh, oh, you're still alive. <laughs> so, question. Do you perhaps have the ghost of your father inside you? No. Would you like to find out? <laughs> Make a DC 13 carries to say. Always say yes to those questions. God damn it! <laughs> You are. You have a plus seven too. I have a plus seven. I won the one. Oh. I only had the one of six. Ah, wow. oh, stuff. And he kind of like um, moves your hands around, stretches them a bit. Oh, finally. And that's his turn. So let's go over to sprinkles. Who is like a happy little puppy right now? It kind of gets serious in the, the situation. So it, you see, it draw moisture from the air around it, and then wells up to its large elemental form. It's still a big, lovely puppy. It's like a wolf-sized puppy, and it's going to whelm. Let's see. Look at that. Quickly. And it's neither we... overwhelming nor underwhelming, it's just well. well. <laughs> and it, 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 you kind of see like the water gather around uh, the zombie's legs, dripping from Sprinkles' amazingly consistent uh, form, and it just kind of sucks them up towards him and must make a what say? Strength saving throw. Plus one. First fail, second fail, third fail, fourth fail. How big is the radius? In the previous space, sorry. So, okay, they take 2d8 plus 4. So, Justin, mm -hmm. Justin, you read that possession effect, right? Uh huh, I saw it. In its entirety? Uh-huh. All of them make, um... Yeah, I don't have anything. I That'll help. <laughs> I mean, you did. 
but then you used it on yourself. First one died. Second I one even then I would have had to cast it before. No. No, you cast it on him and it he gets a new save. Uh I don't think so. No, if the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such a creature, the target has advantage on any new saving throw. But he doesn't get a new saving throw. Oh, and it's... Um, and there's no... An effect like the Dispel Good and Evil spell. Yep. Oh, well, guys, I'm going to take Which over I don't Derek. Have them. I'm going to take over Derek and try to kill you guys now, I guess, since <laughs> I'm possessed. Uh... Frederick, if you allow me to take over the voice of Derek for this uh, combat, I would love to. <laughs> Can you do the voice? Dude, I can do the voice all day, man. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, okay, so you, you see Sprinkles. So we, we see as the camera moves over to Sprinkles, it, it kind of like him absorb all the zombies in his, in his water form, and one of them just kind of like gets slushed around so much, you hear much more bone snapping than it should, and one of them kind of like escape flows out of him, and lands with a wet thought several feet away. And it's bring us like whoop whoop. Uh the next zombies I have a couple oh there were those two up here. Uh, I'm just gonna move closer. That can't be good for the dog. <laughs> and let's make two attacks against somebody. Um, they don't know that Derek is possessing the um, Orgas, so I'm going to say they're going to attack uh, you, Orgas. One of them attacks, uh, one of them you moved up to me, slash yeah. Z, so. Yeah, I know, but the, I'm going to do with uh, Orgas first. Does the 19 hit you? Uh, yeah, 19 definitely hits me. You take the moment of 5 points of damage. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, take that off of my, uh, my HP. There we go. And Preston, uh, 5 misses you. The first zombie that moves onto you, it, it, you can see it's still, like, really badly burned. And I'm going to say that it makes the, the constitution saving throw to see if it can sustain itself. Uh... It succeeds, but it's still like clinging on to unlife. <clears throat> the golem kind of like roars up, and it's like uh, oh, looks yeah, up towards his like... master and evades Kumail. There's some uh, that's oh, I don't know if that's a different zombie, so that's fine. So the See, golem not uh, doing anything. <clears throat> Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna make an attack against this guy. You're going to move from? Oh, I'm attack um, uh, on this one. Great. Eleven. Okay. Is he still yes. standing? Yes. Gonna make a second attack. Fourteen. Hits. Twelve. Okay. Do you add smite to that? No, you don't. So Against okay. trash zombies? No. <laughs> <laughs> it will make a DC 13 saving throw to see if it can remain standing. It can. It's back up to one hit point. You can uh, slash into it, but it remains steady. Unnerving. Unmoving. Just zombie. Preston, you're surrounded. Um, um, I am. I'm, I'm going to say you are aware. No, you aren't. Make a perception check. You are aware that uh, Derek did enter Avokas' uh, body. I mean, also, I heard Derek's voice from Aragus. Whatever, whatever his name is. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna but stab. Him. You're also like surrounded by zombies, so it, it's yeah, kind of. He's, he's the bigger threat. Whoa! Why are you gonna stab me, bro? 
Your friend! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Only 11 damage. You will take 11 damage. Oh, oh. gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> and now... I'm Are you going still to... standing? Yeah, I'm still standing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna dodge. I'm taking the dodge action. Bro, that was not cool at all, man. The no. boot is dodge. I'm dodging. You're dodging? <laughs> I guess it's now the Lich's turn. Oh, yeah. Um, he's going to kind of look at the battle scene. Say, oh, yeah, you're actually handling that sorter? Well, let's see how you do against my little friend here. Yeah, go on, go attack them," he says to the golem, and then he, just out of spite, uh, let's see how long a fireball can can be cast. What is this kind of shit? I for a second there, I heard fireball cantrip. He said firebolt, which is still scary at his level. I mean. Yeah, it's still but yeah. rough. I was just like, oh yeah. man, a class with a fireball cantrip. That would be <laughs> scary yet awesome at the same time. I would never see that. that. So, yeah, oh, that was the attack roll. Jeez. Oh, no. uh, who is he attacking? I'm going to measure out. Uh, it's the same turn. Uh, anyone who wants to, I think it seems. Yeah. Well, everyone yeah. except Derek, aka Arcus. <laughs> Arcus. He is going to uh, attack C. It's, uh, the, it's disadvantage uh, uh, still because you don't, you don't have the thing on yourself. I think 27 still hits though. Uh, <laughs> that's. Is that wrong? No. The bit that's, is, correct. that's correct. Yeah, 16th level cantrip. Yeah. Wait, it's who's small. hitting? He's hitting Z. Okay. Ah, you still are. <laughs> okay, good. Whew, I was getting worried there. Uh, have a taste for that. <laughs> and now it's the zombie's turn. And my spell drops. Oh yeah, cause you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is the spell the only thing that drops? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, more health than us. Yeah. That's reassuring. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Um, the zombies are going to. Well, they, most of them are going to attack Mirabel this time. Turn around and because they tried to attack him earlier and failed, so they're gonna attack. Marston is going to attack you, see, and five of them are going to attack Mirabel. So, that misses. That misses me. Misses. This hits. Misses. Hits. And one more. Hits. Okay, so that's three hits. Are these against Mirabel? Yeah. And then the other zombies, press them. How would you like to get hit by a zombie? I welcome them to try. I am dodging, so all of their attacks are disadvantage. Yeah, unless they're flanking, at which one... they're normal. At which point they're normal attacks. Uh, well, two of them are flanking. Yes. Oh and... uh, no, the three. There are three that are flanking. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Oh, yeah. And then also Derek. Yeah, Derek. <clears throat> I forgot about Derek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Miss. Miss. Hit. Hit. Those are the... Th Wait. Who's attacking me, and did they have advantage? Or, or sorry, did they uh, have no, no disadvantage? Oh, so this first one. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. That misses. The second, the second one, one is this one That's misses. misses. This one hits. Yep. Yep. Crits. And 
and this one over here hits. hits. But uh, it's not a crit, so I just take the seven damage. No, it's a crit. There's one crit, so yeah, yeah, he'll take the five. Okay, <coughs> so I'm taking seventeen. Oh gosh, math. Hey, no, I'm I'm pretty sure the first attack. No, uh, is... it, the twenty four is the crit, so the seven well, plus 20, five. The twenty four was not at disadvantage. Yeah, the twenty four was not at disadvantage. But nineteen yeah. and twenty four was at disadvantage. So the seven plus yeah. five is for the crit. Right. The five plus two was for the not crit. This was. Right. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Lucas, you are possessed. You yeah. feel Derek's voice inside your brain telling you some secrets you didn't know Derek knew. So, like how to perform monk abilities. Huh? What? And using your body, he's going to. <laughs> well, oh. one thing I'm going to do, as as one of my characters, I don't care if this doesn't affect him. I'm just going to start um, viciously mocking him. You can't. Yeah, I know. This is in my mind. I'm just viciously mocking Actually, him. He doesn't you know take... <laughs> oh, you're viciously mocking okay. Derek. Yeah. In my you mind, just, yes. Um, okay. I'm going to allow it. Yeah, I'm just uh, like... If you, you... If, you, if you give me the, the most vicious mock you can give Derek. Oh, it says, you lazy piece of unfiltered uh, trash. Get out of my fucking head. You do not deserve to be in there. What do you... Clean, did you even clean yourself last time? Come on! <laughs> okay, um, roll another curse and save me. Save me from. Alright. Uh, no roll. He <laughs> <laughs> just needs to roll a six! A six! You kinda like hear Derek respond back. Dude, that stinks coming from you! So what are you, what is he going to do? <laughs> well, uh, on his turn, well, Derek is not turn, it's not Derek's turn yet. I'm gonna say that Eric still has his turn in the way. All right, so Pierre, it's your turn. Uh, the dog is in the way. Uh, hmm. There's not any spells that I have remaining. Oh, Flaming Sphere. That works. <laughs> <laughs> of course you have Flaming Sphere. Why wouldn't you not have Flaming Sphere at this point? I'm going to have it appear on... Who's the biggest threat right now? Technically me. Technically the zombies. Technically the so, the little Pierre <laughs> token with the red dot is my flaming sphere. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the little Pierre token. <laughs> I just like how we're just stacking on top of me right now. <laughs> yeah, put, put another token on top. So, <laughs> uh, need to make a reflex save. Alright, I'll make the reflex. What's the DC? 15. Look, I have a plus 6 of dexterity. Come on. You uh, and you Thanks. actually make it with your physical. You take uh, five points of fire damage. Okay. I'm just do, this. do you want to move the flame sphere around? Oh yeah. So I take five. Two. Have to make sense. Three. Have to make sense. There we go. Yeah, can only move sixty. There we go. Yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely. Um, okay, uh, how many is same? Can that? you link Flaming Sphere? Because I thought it did something different. You gotta so, do the text part. Hold on. Keep on. Uh, it's trying to. Oh, uh, five foot hammer sphere appears in an unoccupied space of your choice. Unoccupied. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must make a dex saving throw. Creatures take 2d6 points of fire damage on a failed save, or half as much as uh, 
damage on a successful one. As a bonus action, you can move the sphere up to 30 feet. If you ram the sphere into a creature, that creature must make a saving throw against the sphere's damage, and the sphere stops moving its okay. turn. So technically, you can't put it on top of Derek. But I'll you could have here. placed it there and then, as a bonus action, rammed it into Derek. Yeah, I stick it here and I ram it into Derek. Okay, that's fine. I'll still say we gotta take the five. Yeah, uh, but all of these guys are probably gonna have to make a save. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, this is 15. Uh, it says when they end their Fail. turn. Fail. Yeah, at the end of their turn. Yeah, they don't make a save yet. Six. I'm just gonna do it now, and okay, so I take ten or uh, eleven or uh... the seven damage on a save and half if they <laughs> actually no the first wait no it was eleven first time yeah it's just eleven so it's... Um... so they take eleven or five. Okay. Uh, three of them have to make constitution saving throws to see if they can st keep standing. Uh, one is... So we're just gonna have it being rolled on my turn, right? Their deck saves? I mean, I'm gonna say, that, yeah, yeah, fine. Um, constitution saving throws... Fail. 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 Okay, three of them just go up and... Cinder and Ash. You can, you, you kind of. <laughs> they happen to misstep, and the, the, the colorful and saturated and beautiful clothing catches fire, and they just give up the life in them. Derek. Yeah, bro. You know what's so cool? What? That like now we're like able to use like stunning strike and stuff like that. It's like so. Oh, uh, I thought you get to use my abilities. I was just gonna psychic blade one of them. <laughs> oh, Derek used to be a monkey. He he can't use your abilities. I know. But he can use monkey abilities according to my own liking, and he's going to do that. Can you make an attack roll on um, your good friend Preston? Uh, sure. Is it my, uh... Yeah. My... Okay. It, it's your physical scores, his mental scores. Oh, okay. My physical his scores class. are not that good, so... Just, just make a rare P attack, and... Yeah, it'd be D20 plus 3, then. Okay. Plus your proficiency bonus. Yeah, D20 plus 3. Actually, if you're... Making an unarmed strike <coughs> would be either dex or strength. So whichever is higher. D20 plus 5. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just gonna roll it then. I got it right here. I miss. Unless, uh, he's, gonna, unless he's gonna use a key does point. Does he get more attacks? He's going to use the key point to use Flurry of Blows. And. Miss. <laughs> yeah. I think he gets one more attack. Yeah. Love it. Miss. Yep. Kind of like isn't used to using your body. He possessed the wrong body. I mean, I have a. I'm better with a rapier. Damn it! Why are you so weak? Excuse you. I use finesse. You're using barbaric oh. tips. Uh, is he ending his turn there? Um, he is going to end his turn there. Yeah. Okay. He needs to make a deck save though. You need to make a deck save. Fuck. <laughs> Twenty two. I take half. Okay, you take half of, I'll roll the damage. Uh, Lightning Sphere. You take four damage. Uh, I'm not looking good. <laughs> You're being burned alive. Is this gonna be the second game I have a, I get killed by another player? <laughs> Maybe. Well Right. I mean, this time it's not our fault. Yeah, I mean, we're going up against a level 16 lich or higher. Any deaths is not the player's fault. All right, well, that's uh, yeah, that's my save. So it's Briggles' turn, I guess. Um, everybody, make a perception check. Uh, does Derek need to make one? 
Well, he isn't interested. Yep. <laughs> We're so amazed they got perception, guys. Um, no, yeah, nothing. You don't see anything. Uh, Sprinkles is going to move with his uh, nice zombie bodies over here, and they have first take 2d8 plus 4 damage, because he's awesome. Oh fuck, I just rolled. I take 12 damage, and it's constitution saving throws from those two zombies, three zombies inside him. Uh, Sprinkles might Bail. knock me out. Fail. Bay succeeds. Success. Yeah. Sprinkles might knock me out here if you, if you use Again, the you see two more of them just kind of get shot out of his body and succumb as wet clumps on the ground. Yeah, boom. Dead. And then it's going, Sprinkles is going to slam its front paws into the two zombies in front of him. And hits, dealing 15 touching damage, which causes the first zombie to make a three constitution throw. Oh god, please don't slip me. It succeeds, it fails, <laughs> so it dies. You can't kind of, like, see him squash one of them to the ground. Uh, um, hmm? I, I feel like Orcus is telling Derry, get out or we both die. <laughs> Uh, okay, this zombie is going to move up towards Sprinkles and decide to gnaw at his leg. Um, it's a drink of cool and refreshing water. Yeah. That's trying to crush you. And that actually hits. We damage to a creature with that much HP. Nice. Does Sprinkle have DR? Uh, yeah, actually, so there's only just one damage. Uh, there's not really DR, you just have resistances. <coughs> oh, well, yeah. Okay, now it's the Flesh Golem's turn. It takes one giant lumbering step towards you. Steep. It takes another half step. Steep. And then it's... <laughs> Takes up the zombie in front of you, Preston, and rips it in half, and lets the blood flow into it, and that's its turn. Slurp. Yeah. <laughs> step, step, slurp. Um, this zombie is <laughs> going to... No, I lost it, actually. It's going to attack, and I'm going to say, push this one up here, and it's going to attack you, Preston, with this advantage. Oh, actually, no, with advantage, so. Sorry. Uh, so, just main. Hey, Daniel, what's that? Oh, sorry. Oh. I'm assuming a 22 hits you, hit, hit, hit you. Me? Dan? Yeah? Yes. Take six points of damage. See, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna attack the zombie. That'll hit. Yeah. Fourteen. It makes another constitution saving throw. D fourteen. Fails. You stab it into its. Undead heart and cut it out, and it uh, tossed onto the ground, dead. Okay, gonna attack this zombie. It hits, definitely. And again, you bring it down to its knees. Let's see if it can keep standing. It succumbs by the all inspiring presence you have. And just dies. But you see the glimpse of a tear run down its cheek. It does. Bonus action. I'm going to pump all my land hands into myself. Of course. And that's my turn. Uh, 
horse takes the dodge action. Cool. Preston, it's your turn. Wait, I just realized the uh, zombie that hit me. Did he ha was he flanking me? Yeah, that's why as soon as you hit you. Okay. So I just I, I literally just realized like oh wait, I was still dodging. Well, are you gonna finish off Derek here? I'm gonna try. Uh... You can certainly try. Uh... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, How I'm at zero. You? You're okay. at zero. Well, I'm telling. Oh, right. You don't get. You don't go into the negatives. No, so, I'm at zero. We we see Preston slash into Arokas, and we just see a, a big spur of blood. Like that one where, where Mihawk slash Sorrow in, in, in one, one Piece kind of flashes out of him. <clears throat> and from that wound, the ghostly form of Derek is like... <gasps> and then as, like, as Orcas falls, <laughs> he just looks at Preston and goes, Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, uh, do you want to do anything for your bonus action? Yeah, that's I'm dodging. Okay, it's a good choice. So where does As initiative turn twenty. Something you didn't notice around before happens. First of all, the lich looks at you all and says I should probably just finish you off now. This is Look, one of you is already half dead and He's about to launch a fireball towards you when suddenly the red beam is interrupted, deconstructed, and then vanishes. And you hear this noise. And from the open air rooftop, three figures come crashing into the place. A, a, gnome, uh, a dwarf on his fl uh, flying sh uh, surfboard with a pet of the rabbit next uh, beside him says, Not again! And uh, another person flies down and lands with a superhero pose. And lastly, familiar face of Jacob. <laughs> also, face plants on the ground. He's not very good at flying. I you saw you were having a party! I hope I survive mind. this now. And we don't mind joining. Did he and... just end his turn right there? Yeah, god damn it. For... No, I can't make the save. Just, just roll it. No, can... uh, this it, guy. It moves more. <laughs> more. No, I meant my body. I just realized that. I can't make uh, the save. Sudeda comes flying in and she utters a few words. And this divine energy comes with them. And I haven't opened the carriage sheet, sheet, that's why I couldn't see the stall. <laughs> and she sees that. Uh, what is it? Da, 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 da. She's going to cast a healing word at um, a third level on Avokas and say, You're not done fighting yet! Get can back she, up! Can she hold her turn? Until Preston Pierre moves the fucking fireball. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Yeah, you get twelve hit points back. Henry, I hate that goddamn fire that fireball right now.
jump up here and there and still attack you. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to cast a spell. You got three attacks. I'm going to cast... Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, 8, 14, and 14. Does that hit you? Spell I was going to cast, but it's not worth it anymore. Was it shield? It was going to be shield. I didn't get a chance. Like, I, basically, it's like, uh, I'm looking through my book for shield. They throw their attacks at I'm like, oh. Never mind, then. Okay, I see. Oh, yeah, they, they failed to hit you. Yeah. That's... I, I think you hear your father's voice in your head. Yeah, go at this with the blood axe so you can parry their shit and their, their, their attacks. That's good, Lobby. Okay. Um, that point of them are going to attack Jacob Seville and. Um, let's see. Someone's up there. I'm going to attack Springles. 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 Okay. Um, I'm just gonna quickly gonna make this so I can tell where the line is. That's a one hit on Springles. Two hits on Springles. Uh, does a ten hit you? Uh, Preston? Me? Or actually, yeah, does a seven hit you? No. Okay. And an eight fails to hit Jacob. A 13 fails to hit Silvera. Oh, actually, no, the first one was a crit because they're flanking Jacob. And uh, 21 hits Jacob. So that's two times damage to Jacob. Okay. 13 damage. And um, one of them hit sprinkles. Six damage to sprinkles. Three damage to sprinkles. Because he's awesome. Like that. I'm pretty sure that uh, well, technically, two of them are going to make the uh, strength check to see if they can escape sprinkles. Hold on him. Them. Success. Fail. Success. And um, oh, it's just one of grapples. This one is free again. Oh, Ocas, you just had the delightful experience of having Derek leave your body. I stand up. And move here. I think you want to move further. I don't want. Well, I don't want to move further because this thing's behind me. <laughs> well, yeah, um, Pierre, I forgot. Can you roll the damage for the fire? Because it won't be I'll roll the damage for the fire. Besides, I'm gonna move. I have 15 more. I have five, uh, 10 more movement. I'm gonna try to get away from the the fire. Can you get up there? Um, uh, <clears throat> I might. I'll, I'll have to look. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just. I want to hurt Derek right now. I need to check something. Can I actually? Can you guys see the HP bars of the man uh, of Derek? Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, All right. So I need to do. This is 10 feet from a point. So if I put it here, 10 foot radius. And that's going to get Pierre. But how much do I hate Derek right now? Uh, that's Pierre's fireball. You, uh, I mean uh, Preston. I mean Preston. Sorry. Well, he just possessed you. Yeah, I hate him pretty much a lot not, right now. I'm I'm Preston. I'm not Derek. 
I didn't possess him. I freed. No, him I'm talking. I'm talking. About, I'm talking about how much do I hate Derek right now? Yeah, Preston, you're practically an exorcist. Uh, oh yeah, Preston did just hit you with the great sword. I I literally beat the devil out of him. <laughs> With yeah, a great I'm, I'm really mad at Derek right now. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have like an old sailor story about that. <laughs> about so, how you used to do it. That's how Rose used to do it. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was using oil paints. There was a guy named Ross Bob. Yeah. And he, and he just like, at, like randomly, whilst throwing paint onto a canvas, shouted, beat the devil out of it. And I just started using that. Yeah. So I'm going <laughs> I'm to I'm sit here here, and it's going to be 10 foot radius. So this will also hit me. I'm just that pissed off right now, though. Um, so ten foot Ray is from here. I look at Derek and I said, "You piece of filth!" And I snap my fingers, casting a uh, shatter. Okay. So wait, where does the radius start? Um, this is on me right here. It's ten yeah. foot radius. Yep, you're gonna get hit. Yeah. Yeah, I said. Can like, you please link shatter? Sprinkles. You like monster! What it actually does? Yeah, I will. That I, might screw me over completely. I will show you what's. Hold on, go there. On, and then. Sprinkles failed. Yeah. Are you happy? I say yeah. Uh, each creature in a ten foot radius sphere is centered on that point. Let's say Constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. Takes damage. It's it's not or it's all or none. So if you say a non magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes the damage. Okay, good. Yep. So it's all or none. So it's gonna be fifteen. And I also... wait. You said centered on this zombie, right? Yeah, ten foot radius. That is a ten foot radius. Yeah, it was. It's you're still in it, barely, but you're yeah. still in it. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say because you're a, just barely in it. You have advantage on your check. So yeah, I also need to make the save. You don't have advantage though. You uh, also no. need to make a deck save. I will at the end of my turn. I still have some movement. <laughs> saved easily. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I did not say I'm taking 15. I go back down. Oh, I actually go back down. I said, you piece of fill. <laughs> oh, well, the most you, important wait, part you is damage, the... You dealt damage to yourself? Yes, I'm in the radius. You could have just moved the radius. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. If you <laughs> literally went there... It, or like it's fine. that? It's fine. Look at the sheer number of things you would have hit. It's there. fine. My character was mad at the moment, okay? <laughs> um, I take five. Okay. Oh, no, so you take nine. That's what happens. Huh? Take nine. It's not... No. Oh, I have... On oh, fail, it's half much. Yeah, you take five. Wait, maybe I have evasion. Oh, wait. And here's what happens. I don't have evasion yet. Unfortunately. And also, it will be on a dexterity. Not the Constitution said. Um, here's what happens. Awokas, you feel Derek leave your body. And then you feel these words get to you as you're lying there, slowly burning and bleeding out. And they say, you're not done fighting yet. Get back up. And they inspire you. They remind you of what, what, you're, what you think is worth fighting for, what's worth living for. And you get up. And what you think of as you see Derek's face in his ghostly essence form is, I live for revenge at this moment. And you snap both your fingers and channel the energy you have into the zombie next to the fireball, tracking energy of fireball. And it sunders. And the necrotic energy that held the zombie up spreads out in a shockwave and it corrodes and breaks down whatever it comes in contact with, like the spell does in it to begin with. And you, it 
you see one of it hit Derek right in the face so much with so much force that it crooks to one side completely and turns all the way around comically. And then you kind of see Eric's face start to tear and, and burn. And then you realize that you're feeling pain. And you look down and you see yourself, you've been hit by the same man. And you can also start to feel how it tears at your life essence, how it tears at your body and tries to shatter it. But with the light, in the last moments before consciousness fades from you, you see Derek's essence and ghost lift up into the sky as he shouts, No, my dude! I'll see you again! And then pff, he shatters into a moon. Cool. I have a smile on my face as I go down. <laughs> and then I, then the fire gets to me and I take a one death state, uh, fail. All right, I'm good. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> I'll lose the fire thing. Um, I have a quick question. Does it say that you are being set on fire from the fire? Uh, fire uh, no, it says if you, in your, if you in your turn, you take damage. Unintended uh, objects are set on fire. It was just clarified. Right. Yeah, unintended objects are set on fire. Yeah. Well, technically he was unintended, but he wasn't an object. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Uh, do I know if water elementals are immune to fire? Um, you can roll on a card DC 15. You don't know. What you're looking at is a water, probably. Mm, should I go after these zombies or this? Oh no. I just realized something. Uh, are the zombies. What kind of damage are the zombies doing? Uh, bludgeoning. Great. Maribel's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it has vulnerability to the bludgeoning, does it? Yep, because it's a skeleton. That's right. All boom bits. Wait, does it actually have? I thought yeah. vulnerability no longer was a thing. It is in 5e. Oh. I'm going to put it here and I yeah. say. Uh... Uh, got damage resistance to slashing and piercing and damage vulnerability to bludgeoning. Yep. And I'm gonna say sprinkles. I suggest moving, and I'm going to hit this zombie with the uh. No, I'm gonna hit. Right. I'm gonna hit this zombie <clears throat> with the uh fire thing. It, 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 yeah, and um, it's a bonus action to move it, but it, you really yeah, need to use action. action. Do you need to use an action to hit a uh, zombie? No, I, I just move it, and right. someone gets hit by it. Basically, I bonus action to move it, and it smacks it someone. Yeah. So, uh, he needs to make a deck save or take. Okay, um, yeah, let's look at the zombies. Making a DC 15 deck save. Or... Hey, it succeeds. Takes two damage. Uh, do the artist need to make the deck save? Or does he just stop at the one? He, only, he starts at the one. Yeah, uh, they need to make a deck save at the end of their next turn. Or do you want to do it on this turn? Um, let's do it on that turn. Okay, uh, then I am going to... What should I do? What should I do? I don't have that many spells left. Let's go with... Let's hit this guy with a firebolt. That's easy. Sixteen hit it. Um, that one. Yeah, the yeah. big one. For ten damage. Are you okay? Oh, that's your. Music. 
I'm sorry. It, 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 I know it sounds crazy to music. I'm fucking idiot. Okay. That's what I do. Ten damage. It's pretty cool. Oh, and I say sprinkles. I suggest moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sprinkles moves over here. Here and then, first of all, it licks your face. And it's like, actually, it looks at your entire body because it's so large right now. And then it's going to. Good boy, to, Sprinkles. <laughs> it's going to stomp on one of the zombies. Hits. And deals 18 da oh, wait, 13 damage. Which means it has to take a nice little constitution. 11, 7. Which it fails, and you see the zombie got squished on the sprinkles' boot because that's what sprinkles is good for. Mm -hmm. Okay, now oh, it's the zombie's turn again. <laughs> A while from the east. It will. Um... It's this one. It's going to move up to Sprinkles and try to attack Sprinkles. It hits, actually. Dealing 7 damage to Sprinkles. Mm. Okay. And with that, it's the Flesh Gone's turn. You kind of see this lumbering mash of flesh and different body parts move and then turn. And his eyes, that aren't really eyes, but just more like gaping holes that have this black void in them. They uh, who's a good target? Yeah, uh, that's a good target. Okay. Yes. Okay, 16. So that's good. It's going to slam with two beats. Uh, hits first time, and it's a multi attack, so it makes another attack. Misses second time. It's going to. Uses its hands and pounds against the uh, Rex's surfboard, and just just the intensity and force of the damage is enough, like to send the little dwarf flying two and a half feet and come to a scratching halt, and uh, definitely makes Rex like oof out. Oof. Uh, as a reaction to that. Okay. And the last zombie is just going to attack the real. There are so many of them. That's business. She is of the shield and blocks it. Okay. Hmm. How are you guys looking? Do you want to take a little break? Uh, oh, I'm down. I'm so... perfectly fine. We can go until I've... we're done. Until we're done with I've this not one. actually taken any damage this session. Oh, lucky you! <laughs> yeah. Alright, well then it's C's turn. I have the good old wizard who is sitting in the back. You, even, you do actually even have zombies with you. Okay. And... Arokus is down again. Uh-huh, that's fine. You're good. Do what you gotta do. And you've taken a death saving... Or two death no, saving just, throws? just one. Does it reset? Does it reset? Yes, it does. So I'll take a moment. Okay. 
If it. Uh, still. <clears throat> I'd rather you not die. Aw, that's so sweet. I know, right? I would just take care of the zombies. I don't really do much to the zombies. I mean... I'm You're a paladin? I, I don't... Sure, if I want to waste smites. Other than that, I just have a weapon attack. Yeah, I mean, I would just continue to get rid of these zombies. Or you could deal with the golem. Or the golem, yeah. Uh, problem is, is, no matter what I do, I'm going to take attacks of opportunity. Besides the hit just hitting zombies. I would, I would just uh, keep attacking the zombies. Okay. Don't blame me if you die, though. That's fine. What's the worst is gonna happen? Roll one. Why did I say that? Die. Why did I fucking say that? That's yeah. That's the worst that's gonna why, happen. Why did I say that? <laughs> okay. Uh. Well. You're wishing for death, Justin. Okay. Damn it. I wasn't I... trying to. I'm going to attack this zombie. Okay. Uh, eleven. That hits. 10 damage. Alright, what's the was it again? Uh, the one on the right that I'm flanking. Okay. Uh, was 10 and probably 10 so far, so. Um, let me stand at 10, check. It comes clambering back to on life. Okay, I'll hit him again. Uh, 20. And it hits. 8. Okay, and let's make another save. It, this time, you cut off its head and both parts of its body stop. It, it, they first convulse a little bit, almost like it's if it's trying, and then it sort of stops doing that. It's kind of impressive. I don't think I've ever cut off someone's head with a rapier before. <laughs> It was barely hanging in there, though. Uh, oh. uh, okay, do you want to use your bonus action or something? I've got nothing to do. Paladins don't get a uh, healing word. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, then it's Preston's turn. Okay, I'm not dodging anymore. I guess I'm just gonna hit this guy. Uh, go ahead. That's what I do. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, let's make a quick constitution saving throw. Because it also brings it down. And stays down. Lucky bastard, you. Do you want to use your bonus or something? Uh, no, I don't have any potions. Okay, well then it's the layer action turn. Uh, the delicious turn. And it's going to... The delicious looks kind of upset. Mostly. Uh, I don't think the zombies around me ever acted. Oh, right. Ah, uh, because I removed the token. Right. Uh, but also, uh, they're on sixteen, so they're they're coming up. And don't worry, they're pissed. Oh, okay. This is kind of like a mixture of. Anger and strangely joy, arousal. Like, <laughs> it delicious and massive boner. It just you can't see it because he doesn't have any flesh. It is a skeleton. The most skeleton boners. Ah, I'm into this. <laughs> um. 
What's a fun spell? Circle of Death. Disintegrate. Power Word Kill. That's always a good one. Whale of the Banshee. What? Wish. Oh, it's going to... It's going to do an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> it's going to... What do we do? Oh, some, some, some Meteor Storm. Let me just look at it. Its range is set much. Okay, so I can't use the untap one. So. But who else is in range? Hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> It's going to cast a magic. Uh, um, let's make a magic missile at ninth level. Oh, what can give me the option of making it? Am I? Uh, but I, I was four, so that's how many more? Thank you. Um, no arrow. The first, no going, the first two are going towards um, Sprinkles. Okay, Sprinkles is huge and also very much a threat. So that's minus five. Next two are going towards you, uh, Pierre. I cast shield. That actually works, yeah. Yeah, that works. I forgot about that. Then it's uh, NPC's turn. Uh, Jacob is going to unleash a barrage of attacks on the flesh golem. And I just got all my temporary hit points back. Brave or abjuration. Because he was quite weapon master. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. Against it, it hits and deals 20 damage to it in the first attack. Just that down. Minus 15. And then makes another attack with it and still hits. Now it deals another 22 damage. And you're gonna see a Jake that cutting a Jake up cutting into the flesh girl and there's like hands with uh, slithering and moving hands um severed from the body and they're like still a little bit animated in within like a small circle of it and then it it stops moving <laughs> eventually. But the golem, the mountain of flesh and bones, blood still stands. Um, Savera is going to look at the sorry state of Aokas and say... I would not worry about me at this point if I'm going to do this to myself. Uh, it's going over here. Can I look at you and say, you should really take care of yourself more and as a bonus action cast healing word on you. On who? On... Um, Arrowcast was currently still pleading out. Okay. That's just a bonus action. Did you roll? Oh. Now I can switch it. You get 8 hit points back. And she kind of looks at you disapprovingly. I don't fucking care about her. <laughs> and then she raises up her sword, her long sword, and starts to chop into. The uh, flesh golem. Hit. Deal six points of damage. Rex is going to take two steps back. That seems 20. 25 steps. Uh, actually, no, there. 
away from the flesh mountain of flesh and disgustingness that that is. Look at that wrong character sheet. Where are you? Did the flesh golem get an attack of opportunity? It does. Um, and it's going to use it. It misses though. Uh, okay, so now I'm trying to open this character sheet. So can I disappoint it? Why doesn't it open? Ah, there it is. So, how are you guys? Are we what? How are you guys feeling? Uh, well, I've been down twice. So, are you asking for a a number of hit points that we may or may not have, or how no, we just are in general, general um, mood? Uh, appears perfectly fine. Here, <laughs> I'm sad about losing Maribel. I'm excited to uh, fight something that's not. Uh, I want to go home. As my character, <laughs> I want to um, Jacob like Rex eight is times to with a great sword. Cast, Same. Cast well, you don't have a great sword. Himself. Oh no, it's I would borrow from you. <laughs> that would um, that's you Rex part of it, and um, that concludes the turn. Uh, dang, you're both stuck. But I'm pretty sure I forgot as a bitch to make something. Did I not? What did, what did the Lich do? Uh, he cast Magic Missile. Oh, yeah, right. It's ineffective. Okay, cool. Uh, Avogas, you again feel yourself like being pulled away from the brink of death. The air seeps into your lungs again and you blink your eyes open. Uh huh. Hold on. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. You're yeah. slightly more useful alive. Alright, that's a raise of 10. I'm gonna put it right there. Yes, <laughs> yes I know Jacob said it. I don't care at this point. <laughs> uh, so I stand up again. I'm like, oh, the hurt. Oh, and I see Jacob. I said, oh, you're here. And I snap my fingers again. <laughs> Should I draw the circle again? Yeah, it's fine. That's the radius, basically. Just those three in there. Uh, okay. Well, if you moved it down, you could hit every single person here. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I would death suicide. <laughs> uh, check out takes off damage. Of it. That's fine. Uh, so that's six. He takes, six. Yeah, he takes, he six. takes none. Isn't it no damage on a success? No, it's half. I looked at it, it's half. Or, or okay. wait, do you want to hit yourself again? No, I'm good. No, that's fine. Where I have it is fine. I mean, it's a, it's a classic, though. It, it, it's fine. The square is what I want. Okay. Let's uh, the radius, though. I don't care. Uh, I moved it up so it wouldn't hit the, uh, the person who healed me. Awesome. Uh, that would be an asshole move. Yeah. You healed me. And this one suddenly oh, just like, collapses to dust. I like how you're basically Thanos snapping yeah. people. Yeah, at this point I was like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> it's really inefficient. He can oh. kill half of the population of the galaxy, or the universe rather, with one with a snap of one finger. You can maybe you can do like three D eight damage or half of that on a successful save with well, a snap of your I can only, I only have level two uh, slot as my highest, so it's only gonna do 3d8 uh, right I, now. I, I, I missed the zombies again. Yeah, 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 but this time we're just gonna go ahead and skip to that. Uh, time. Did you roll it for the flesh? Oh, is it dead? It's um, initiative two. No, the say, save, it, it, the constitution save. It succeeded. <laughs> save. But it's a cough damage. So, are you yeah. sure? 
Because there was a zombie in there. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. <laughs> so it's yeah. a half. Yeah. How are you looking? Okay. Zombies. Slamming towards you. I <laughs> missed both times. Who was that against? Uh, Pierre. Oh, yeah. This one moves up to you and tries to yeah. hit you. Pierre still has friends. Yeah. Go ahead. I think it's 21. He just barely hit me. Do you have a DC of 20? Right now I have a AC of 20. Shield! Shield spell. Shield, yeah. You, Hold on. you take 8 points of damage as this one zombie actually... I'm gonna say this zombie has actually a half body missing. So it's gonna crawl in towards you. And it hits you in the kneecaps. Because your, your shield only covers up towards the kneecaps. Yep, and it still has to go by a ward. Uh, they also need to make uh, deck saves. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, considering uh, they have seven, seven, seven hit points, so they can actually not do that. Oh. Dex save. First one fails. Fail. 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 Can't save. Fail. Success. Fail. Two of them just turn to ashes. Next to you. The last one with its flesh entirely blackened and cracked. cracked. Still lumbers towards you. Okay, I am uh, asked my bonus action. Hmm? Gonna hit, hit this guy with the flaming spear. Uh, it's you just... Not 60. Flaming spheres, so I can move 60. No, it's 30, I thought. You can, you can oh, choose yeah, five up to 30. Never mind. Uh... I could get it. Well, the, no, the path there. you took was at 30. <laughs> there we go. You kind of went a little wider than that. That's why I was at. That's why I was saying it was more 30. It, it's, I, it still gets there no matter how I draw the path. Okay, and I hit him with the flaming spear. All right. He needs uh... to roll a deck save or take seven. That flaming spear. Flaming spear is awesome. And okay. for killing everyone, because you moved it exactly into where flanking position is. And I am going to shoot him with the firebolt. Uh, uh, technically, you have disadvantage. Oh, yeah, because a range attack from close combat. Yeah, he has his advantage. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think Flaming Sphere is doing great. It's burning things. That's what it's supposed to do. Well, Alright. Sprinkles kind of looks at the big flesh golem with a thought in his mind. <laughs> and and that is his big meal. Um, but first, it looks at the air and kind of like at the, at the zombies. Yep, go ahead and kill them. Oh, <laughs> and um, it's going to attack the one in directly in front of you because it's a body. It springles is a body like that, and eighteen hits. 
and him plotting damage as a DC 20. Saving from what he did now. Or, oh, actually, it was DC 15. Mm. Which succeeds, it's just barely him. No, oh, actually. You said DC 20. Yeah, so it, it dies. <laughs> and it, it falls on the. It crumbles on a sprinkle's foot, which is the same for the. It always uses. There's kind of like a bit of bloodish muck underneath it now. And it's under its paw. paw. Okay. Zombie. <laughs> Two left. It moves up towards Jacob and its exit. But with the 10 it misses. It's the Flesh Gnome's turn. It is currently under 40 hit points, which means... Also, if there was... It has to take a fire damage, and that's disadvantage on its attack rolls. Um, it's going to attack... It's going to move away from the fire. First of all, uh, so can't do so without leaving. Yeah. So Gonna right. take that fire damage. We're taking that time to move here. Move here. Then. Move here, move here. And then Let's move over stand. here. And we'll try to. Uh, it goes. It can't it's, it's... occupy the same space as a character. Okay, so it has to move up. Yeah, it has it two places. Here. It has there, or it can have right down here where I'm at. Yeah, but the problem is then we'll take an opportunity to attack. Yeah. It's going to take a copy, attack of opportunity to attack no matter what it does. It just can't be sure. Oh, if, if, if it moves here, it wouldn't leave the range. Yeah, if it moves here, it doesn't leave the range. Of one person. Of one person. It will take it. It will take an attack opportunity no matter where it goes. Yeah, no matter where it goes. It's it's gonna gonna move it move up. Uh, which means Sarah has an attack opportunity. Longsword hits. Deal six damage to it. Uh, oh, fuck. No. Cool. And it will then, as it's berserk, it will choose a random target. But since there are only two targets, you can hit, hit number one, two, and one. It's Jacob. It's going to go towards Jacob and slime into him with a multi attack. Uh, miss. Hit. Actually, yeah. 14 question points to check up. Uh, the golem swings back one fist and Jacob managed to, to quickly duck below and down around and it whistles by overhead. Then it on its pivot, because like you can see there's isn't really a spine to the golem and it's Flesh and form is kind of malleable to an extent, so it kind of just keeps turning around. And then on the return, it slams down, down on Jacob, and you kind of hear him Ugh! screw up in pain. Um, I'm gonna now say those are the zombies on the stands, and <laughs> this whole time, actually, you've been stands. Those boxes here have, have been given the instruction to cheer. <laughs> so they're like clapping. <laughs> it's all time. Um, that's what they're going to do for now. Oh, actually, this one's going to try, try to attack sprinkles. And miss. See, 
Your turn. Okay. What's so this should work? What is it? Drop and shift. Yeah. Moving to there. Which shouldn't provoke an attack because I don't didn't no, leave don't. any. You don't no. leave its range. Yep. Uh, as my bonus action, I am going to uh, slide my rapier underneath my shield and coat it with a viscous black liquid, and then attack at the goal. Uh, Fourteen. That hits. Great. So the rapier damage would be seven, and then the poison damage. Is twenty five. Uh, um, it has immunity to poison damage. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. Actually, also has um, immunity to slashing from non magical object attacks that aren't magical. Uh, is no, that so I did nothing. It? it says immunity is on the on the. Thing. Uh, I'm just going to read out lightning, poison, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non magical decks that aren't added my time. Conditional immunities, charmed, exhaustion, frightened, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned. Uh, then none of us can do damage. Definitely <laughs> good counter. Well, the fire is working. Yeah. None of us can do weapon damage at this point. Though. I'm going to say that uh, since I also added the damage from Jake's sla Jacob's slashes, which isn't a magical sword, so I'm just going to say that it has resistance towards it and give it like 40. Yeah, the back. resistance is only half damage. Yeah. It's immunity. We, can't, we don't do any damage. Yeah. Well, plus 40 towards the HP, and then minus 4. Yeah. For the attack. Uh, minus three round now. And I'm gonna say four. I don't know. I'm check up the rule. Uh huh, and that's why there's a ledge attack uh, doing with us as well. Still gonna swing again. Just because. You hit? No reason not to. And you will fight at five damage. You. It's kinda weird, like, you're slashing at it and slashing, and, and you're definitely doing cuts on it. It just. There's so much meat. And as it, the more you, you slouch off, the more it just seems to be, the, be there on this mountain of meat. But I'm going to put a smite into the second attack. Yeah, you can do. All right. That'll do something. Yeah. It takes all Some... that. Yeah, that does 8 damage cleanly. Okay. Preston, it's your turn. Sorry. It's been so long since my last turn, I kind of fell asleep a moment. What? Really? No. Um, I'm going to step here. Unless that would provoke an attack for opportunity for someone that I'm not seeing as an enemy. Where are you stepping to? Where I am. Oh, are you no longer dancing? No, oh, he's I've only not been around. dancing for a while. So, oh. if you move, depending on where you move, you're probably going to take one from the zombie. No, 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 I moved into this space. Oh, no, you know where you're fine, man. Yeah, okay. I would flip this poker chip, but it's got identical sides. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So, so what do you want? Roll, heads or heads? Roll a 1-2-2, <laughs> then. Uh, on a 1, you attack Jacob. On a 2, you don't. Yeah, it's, it's like you know why I'm flipping a coin here. I have a coin. So heads, I attack Jacob. Tails, I attack the zombie. Because Jacob, I don't trust anymore, and it's very hard to regain my trust after you've lost it. Mm -hmm. That's heads. Which one is? Attack Jacob. Jacob. So that, so... <laughs> uh, what is the exact wording for flanking? Uh, you have an advantage. No, 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 no. Like, well, it's... So is if it? You're an I think, it I think it's an, an ally, ally or another creature that. Is it? Because the, the idea behind flanking is that 
um, you're basically attacking a person from two fronts, right? So if you are sharing the target with the person uh, you're flanking with, you are taking the advantage. Yeah, Actually, it specifically says a creature friendly to you. No, I'm going to attack them. Oh, Would he be it's... considered surprised by my attack? <laughs> no. I mean, a bit, but not, not, not that much. He, he thought he probably thought it was. So do I? Like... So do I have advantage or no? Uh, roll the one, two. <laughs> well, I mean, I no, I I was I was asking because the fle I'm basically flanking him with the flesh golem. Oh, you, you, you are not friends with Flesh Gum. There's also a bit of coordination uh, to okay. thinking. Didn't matter. Will <laughs> 25 hit him? Yeah. He takes him easily 14 damage. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm basically going to shout out. You're a traitor, and if we were on a ship, you'd be in the water! I have a question for you, Ben. Who was the first person who broke your trust? As a, who broke your uh, person's trust? Um, it doesn't have to be like a name or anything. Just like yeah, no, I'm trying to think about that. Um, well, we can come so, back to it if you want to. Well, I was gonna say so early on in his childhood. I mean, he was kind of raised uh, <laughs> like he had a family. They weren't very well off, so he had to scrounge about in the streets. But at least he had some place to stay, for, you know, away from the rain. Um, and you know, I'm you know, he fell uh, he fell in with uh, like a gang of kids that they thought they were all tough and stuff. Um, so definitely a couple of those when the gang ended up having to be dispersed for whatever reason. Um, they they were probably the first. It probably cost him like maybe five gold <laughs> and a scar. Cool. Uh, that that memory kind of presents itself to, in your head as you slash at Jacob. Well, that, that wouldn't be the first memory of right. losing... Like, that wouldn't be the first memory of losing trust that comes to mind. No. Right. Either way, uh, do you want to use your bonus action or something? Um... Uh... It's also amazing to me that you're basically standing there, barely standing there. And <laughs> yeah. Long yeah. Fall you probably fighting. you you probably see my health, right? Yeah, I, can, oh, I can't see. No, you don't. I can fix well, I can that. Hang on. Um. Oh, so not, not Wait, no, it's this one. Okay, do you want to use your bonus action? <laughs> so you can see my health bar now, right? <laughs> I, I I just took the two characters. Oh, there. hang on. There. Now oh, you yeah. can see it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was under Jacob. Um, yeah, that'll that'll be my turn. I have one use pivotal response left. I don't really want to waste it. Okay, initiative turn 20. This is going to, like, Look at Preston funny and say, Well, mutiny? <laughs> ah, fuck you too! <laughs> He's going to cast irresistible. No, that's not funny. It's going to cast a large reduce on Preston. DC 18, I've checked the uh, spells and spells. I had it wrong last time. It wasn't a 20, it's an 18. 
Does this actually do anything besides making someone smaller? Nope. <laughs> it, it, it. Uh... I believe that they're they're larger. They do twenty four damage. And is it is a smaller? They become they do one d four less damage. And first, and make that saving throw, please. Which saving throw is it? Constitution oh, saving Constitution. throw. Constitution. Do I have any chance of actually succeeding? It's DC, it's 18. DC eighteen. Yeah. No, I had next to no chance. Okay, you feel yourself shrivel up a bit, and your bones contract, and your perspective shifts. Like you, you actually normally like you were close to eye level, with Jacob, but now you're gonna feel like yourself shrinking, shrinking, until so you're about the fourth of a size. Um. No, 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 no. You're. I'm. I'm half my height. I'm one. Half eight. your height. Well, I'm one eighth of my weight. And you're like very tiny, and I want you to remember, remember to raise, your, uh, raise the pitch of your voice, and bit uh, for the rest of the this fight. Jacob is going to turn around and look at you, Preston. Jacob is very tall if if we're at eye level. <laughs> so I'm six foot seven. Well, now I'm three foot three and a half. You're a dwarf, so maybe your voice should actually go down. Oh, so you're around the correct height. Alright, right. Huh. Uh, it seems I didn't really write down his. I don't really know. Hi, yes. Oh well. In either case, he's going to look at you and say, "Look, can't we talk about this later?" I know I betrayed your trust, but grow up. He's right, we'll kill him after the fight. And he's going to not move, and instead he's going to attack the Flesh Golem again. Let's see if he hits. At 10 still hits. Takes. 19 half. Oh, actually, it's uh, 9 half. Right. No, it's 19 half. Oh, because, it, uh, because they add. Uh, let me just check how I made it up. Because I reduced it secondly to. Why? Oh, I should say 2 hit is 3. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, it's the right one. Alright. Just reduce that and... Yeah, alright, so it, it is incalculating to damage. So this is this 19, but the great weapon might an external damage to it? Or is it not? What, the plus 10? Yeah. It's... it's... I believe you already have part of it, so it's total 19 and a half. Alright. Down to a, yeah, to a 9. Okay, and it's going to attack once more against it. Like that. And that's the way it is. And deal now 10 damage. It is hacking and slashing at it. So then uh, kind of looks at you, Preston, and is like, Look, we can explain. Just calm down. And considering the state of you, is going to, first of all, make a nature check to see, or a healing check to see if you can. To see how damaged you are. She fails, so she just says, Oh, fuck it. I'm going to go in for an extra hard hit. Does the 10 hit you? <laughs> uh, who hit me? I don't, uh, Preston. Oh, I'm about to say, he's like, I haven't done anything to her. <laughs> I don't think a 10 hits him. Unless that, 
uh, reduce enlarge reduces your AC. It wouldn't. Uh, fine. Well, if that's the case, um, yeah. Rex is going to send a magic missile to flash for him. I didn't hit him there. Who is he going to hit? Well, What's that case, he's going to send the fireball to the flesh golem. Really? Fine. Oh. Yeah, that's bad damage. Three, yeah. Well, also, that's... also, why does it 31 to hit him? Uh, yeah. You rolled well. Yeah, you rolled well. You just that's did serious. bad damage. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, it happens. Wasn't it? No, it's just be, before. Why is it spell attack? Uh, no, that was the lich who oh, shot that was the lich. Yeah. No, I think his spell attack is fucked up. Uh, let's go take more horses. Yeah, that seems kind of high. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna have to change that. Especially because oh. like, in the in the roll already, um, it's taking the. All right, no, actually, no, it's it's 8 plus proficiency bonus plus intelligence modifier, so yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. attack roll's right. Oh. You just did bad damage. <laughs> okay, that's uh, 9 Wait, damage. Wait, who, who was it attacking? The flesh golem. Well, you said it was the... Wait, no. It's not the, the lich, el The elven, high elf. Yeah, the high elf. You. Yeah. Or the lich. Oh, okay. Yep. As you always said, please just calm down. <laughs> and she did it. And there's a zombie who is still somehow hanging around. And yeah, about. surprise. It's going to attack. And the other zombie is going to attack Pringles. Or no, it, the other zombie is going to move up towards Pierre. By going here. And attacking you, Pierre. And missing. Why? Because they're zombies. Uh, Orcas, your turn. Uh, Orcas is gonna be brave for once this goddamn life, so he's gonna move here. Um, I'm gonna attack with <coughs> my right ear. If I hit, I will do like uh, like the blades on it. Here's right ear attack, nineteen. Alright, now, who are you attacking? The Flesh Goal. Alright. <laughs> so I deal 10 with the Psychic Blaze, which all he takes all of that, and then he takes half of the 9. Okay. And then I come around, well, I come around with a dagger for, for half of 3, so 1. Okay. Um. How do you want to do this? Oh, which one kills him? Uh, the first one, actually. Okay, so I just like just get up. I just look at my rapier. It's like, well, now or never. Run towards it, and I just sh stab straight up as far as I can, and just like not lift it up, but just drive my rapier as far as I can, and then like just rip it out. As you fry it up further, and it's it's kind of like the Akira scene of like you're getting sucked into the flesh mount, and you get like new hands start gripping you and pulling you further. It's really really gross, oh, and I you're kind of this. you're fearful that you're going to be consumed by it, but then you unleash your will and through the plate. And it seems to do more than just cut and slash into where you are. It expands and expands, and then it does the anime style thing where we see this, we see the golem and a shadow again, on a black and white background, <laughs> and then we see your body move into it, and we don't see your body anymore. And then we see, see this white flash across the screen, and then the body, two halves of the body start to fall down. 
and you kind of immerse down on the ground, coughing off blood. Partly your own, partly you, you swallowed. And all of this no more. And let me just check something real quick. Just one. So Thanks. since the Thanks. dagger, Thanks. I didn't need to do the dagger one. I just want to see what this is. This is action. Is action. Never mind. I was gonna vicious mockery the uh, the lich. <laughs> We're fine. Uh, actually, make constitution saving throw. Okay. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Eighteen. You feel some of the blood that uh, flowed into your mouth as you were swallowed. Um. It, it burned a little bit, but then you can, like, cough and it seems to go away the pain. I don't know why my, I can make my constitution saving throws, but I can't make my charisma in my decks the ones I'm good at. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> as the... Um, as, it, as the flesh golem falls to the ground, the dish is kind of like... Like a slow clap. Uh, okay, so since the oh that, yeah he's yeah keep clapping. Um, my bonus action says the dagger didn't since the rapier killed and not the dagger. I'm using healing word for my all myself for six. It's like you do a little pet to yourself. You got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> um. The lich turns what to stand and where the zombies are, and he asks them, Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? They did a fine show, didn't they? Well, Jacob, if you remember our deal, you know where to find me. And he uses his reaction to teleport all of them. Jacob, Jacob, I'm gonna, we have some questions for you. We're gonna ask him first, and then press is uh, probably gonna kill you. <laughs> since there's still a bit of a tension here, I'm um, also gonna keep the um, turn a little bit in, in the soul. Okay. So, Pierre, what do you do? Yeah. Uh, hmm. What should I do? Well, you got that one zombie, it looks like, in front of you yep, still. I hit that zombie with a uh, flying spear. I'm sure Sprinkle can handle this one. Ah. So, uh, uh, the zombie right here needs to make a save. Okay. Or take. Well, yeah, it's still standing. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I'm just gonna shoot with firebolt. Okay. Or... It's... Okay, makes a DC 10 check. It fails, and... Where do you want to hit it? Oh, I just blast its head off. That you do. But you, you hear your father. I. That's a good headshot, but you know, I would prefer it had you done it with the axe. Ah, uh, I told you everything is burning. It's yes. working out. Yes, everything is burning. <laughs> Everything's just burning. You can really set everything on fire. Even stuff you don't think you can, all you just, all you require is more fire. Uh, the spring mist is going to slam into the zombie in front of it. Getting flushing damage. Which means that the day is Which you can see, it's the zombie is kind of stuck to Sprinkles' uh, watery paw. Kind Wait, of, it succeeds? It succeeds. It, it, no, it, it took damage, but I succeeded. 
and Z1. Okay, um, it's going to attack you, Pierre. Okay, go ahead. Misses. And then we're back to C. Uh, I don't know much I can do. Well, I mean, there's one zombie left. I think Sprinkles got it. Uh, yeah. And then it's up to us. Do we want to question him or kill what him? What is... Is this a raised platform? Yeah. Uh, how far off the ground is it? Uh, like five feet. It's a standing platform. It's like small steps up to it. Okay, I'm gonna go up on the platform and look around for any items or anything left behind. <laughs> um, yeah, there's some water bottles, uh, some glass vials that. Um, oh. There really isn't anything that's that, that's useful. Um, okay. Uh, oh, actually, there's a towel. Uh, that's you, you're kind of wondering how he could use it because he's you no know, doesn't have flesh. Um, I mean, it's a lich. How does he do anything? <laughs> you're gonna think he probably just stabbed it. <laughs> it's it's moist, so it actually he yeah, probably just wetted it and that on the forehead with it. Yeah. Um. Uh, also, you notice the screen here is made of the most beautiful cut emerald or grown emerald. It, it's like almost like it's been grown to, to be that way, and actually it's. Are you gonna kind of check? Uh, okay. You have oh. no idea. It, it, it's weird. It, it's like you're seeing something in it, but you're not really sure. You don't recognize it in, in any shape or form. You, you see like streets, and you see these big moving metal things that are moving fast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You see people talking. Can I uh, take it? <clears throat> or no, the whole screen. It's several, several tons, so no. I mean, you can try. Can I smash it? Um, if you want to attack it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, then, but let me just quickly look up what's this AC of emerald. I mean, is this something you should wait on? <laughs> I, mean, I guess it's yeah, too late now. You guys aren't doing anything interesting. I mean, something interesting might happen soon. <laughs> whether, whether he lives or dies, a huge difference to me. Sure. Okay. I, I was told what I was after is somewhere in this building, so I'm going to find it. Okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. You don't, can you can't remember the vision? Uh, was it you were looking for some memories? It was in memories? No, oh, um, this was for, um, uh, maybe intelligence. No, I, I, I know that it's the lich that knows the information. But he didn't talk, so I'm just gonna smash everything. <laughs> uh, and with a crit. I'm going to say that yes, you do manage to get your <laughs> rapier chip or something of it off. And it actually makes a decent crack in it. And as you do that, you notice that whatever music was coming from that screen and whatever things you're seeing in it disappears. And it's just big emerald now. Great. Uh, let's roll. Uh... That's what he gets for being an asshole. 
you get a chunk of emerald worth 158 gold. Okay. And that's your turn. Rustin. Or... Static? <clears throat> no, you're good. I think this would okay, be a good sorry. point to stop for today. Um, so I'm just going to ask a question instead. Is the sentiment that you want that, that the group shares that you're going to talk with Jacob, or is the sentiment that you're going to attack it? I want to talk first. Honestly, I just wanted to get one good hit in. And I did. So, I think we freeze frame on Aoka still his deck is out. Kind of like in a position where his rapier is pointed towards Jacob. He's not about to open and speak. And then we see Preston coming from behind Jacob's back and his great sword is up and it's going to make a slash at Jacob's head. And that's why we, and we don't see if he hits or not, or we see his, his arms moving towards it. And then if the, the, the screen freezes up, it goes static, and then it closes like the TV. And we will see you guys next week. Alright, yeah. Yep, we'll see everyone next week. Well, in two weeks. Alright, two weeks, yeah. Yep, two weeks. Alright. Alright, that's going to do it for tonight. I will see everyone back for in two weeks. We'll come back and see if we kill Jacob or not. Uh, thanks for everyone who came out. And good night.